Hello everyone! Today I will show you how students can use Canva to create a digital product in which they will reinvest their understanding. What's interesting about Canva is that you can get verified to get Canva for education for free. School service centers can have their domain name verified for their whole staff all at once. Whether your student's final product is flexible or predetermined, Canva offers many reinvestment opportunities. So the first thing you will do is go to canva.com and sign in with your professional email. I want to bring your attention to all the different templates that are already available in Canva. So you have docs, whiteboards, presentations, social media content, videos, which is very interesting because we don't have a lot of um, video creation platforms that are free to use for our students. So that's interesting print products website. If you click on more, you will see all the different uh, templates that they have. Book cover, uh, mind map, desktop wallpaper, infographic, magazine cover, poster, comic strip, artistic CD cover. So I'm sure you can already see uh, and think about different way uh, your students could use these templates to reinvest the information uh, they have understood from the text. Let's say I want to do a video. I can come here, look at video templates. So the student will have to choose one of the model that is here or start by creating a blank video and it works with all the different templates. Let's say I create a video from scratch. So once I'm in Canva, whatever the final product is, I always have these same options here on the side. So I have design options, elements, text, brand, uploads, draw, and ooh, projects, apps. So I have different apps that I can add to Canva. Let's say I want to first put a a title page so I can look at elements for different photos. Let's say mine is about Japan. So let's say I want to put a cover page to my video. I'll write in Japan. If my video was about Japan right here. So let's put it in here. You also have many different um, edit options. So you can see my image doesn't really fit the other uh, page so if i click on my image and click on edit image i have different magic tools uh this one i'll use is magic expand so my my using ai my picture will be completed to really suit the format of the page so there you go all page magic expand so you can see it's not perfect, but it's created the rest of my image uh, to complete the page. This image would last because this is a video. Your product could be something else, but this uh, is a five second shot. So you can make it smaller or bigger, just like so. So another uh, option you will have on the left hand side for any type of production that you do is the text option. So if I want to add more text, I can just come here, add a text zone for a more basic text or choose one of the um, font that is available for you to change. So I added this one, I write Japan and some of them you can even change the color, some of them you can't. So you see this one is the interior that you're changing. So I'll leave it like this right here oh it did not keep the format of my picture i could also in elements go and find videos if i wanted to if i wanted to do a video i could go in videos and find a video you see these are 13 seconds 25 seconds so i could add this right here also once again, in any type of production that the students do in Canva, they can add their own pictures from their computer or they could record themselves if they wanted a voiceover, for instance. They can use drawing tools if they needed. 
just like so. There also is a magic media which allows you to create a picture from words that you describe. So let's say I want to have a geisha in Tokyo. Like, just like this. And I'll create this style. I'll create, I'll use this one right here. Click on create. It will create four different pictures for me to add to my design. So you see, so let's say this one. Please remember that every time you use AI to create something, you need to be transparent about your use of artificial intelligence. And you put a little logo to say your picture, for instance, was created with uh, artificial intelligence. So that's about it with for the tools that you have in Canva. Once the students are ready to share their production with you, they will come here, click share, and they can uh, add you as a collaborator if, if that's something you want, or they could create a public link view to send it back to you. So hopefully this was useful. Thank you.